Something alarming is happening in DevOps job postings right now. Salaries are falling, job listings for DevOps engineers are going down, and remote roles are also decreasing. But at the same time, engineering job postings overall are climbing. So is DevOps dying or is something else going on here? I know this sounds crazy, but in this video, I'll show you why this is actually the best thing to ever happen to DevOps and how it might be the biggest opportunity in your engineering career. Not long ago, DevOps engineer was considered a golden ticket. Six figure salaries, remote freedom, everyone was hiring. But fast forward to now, we are seeing some numbers nobody saw coming. Salaries are down 6%. DevOps engineer job postings have also dropped with 6%. Only 16% of DevOps roles are remote, also down 5.2%. It looks like the DevOps bubble has popped. But let me show you it is actually the opposite that's happening. But before we dive deeper, about 73% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So please subscribe now. It lets me put out more honest content like this every single week. Let's get into what's actually going on behind the scenes. The DevOps engineer title has always been a bit of a mess. Some companies expected infrastructure, others wanted CI, CD and Terraform. And sometimes you would be putting out fires in production at 2 a.m. It was a role without boundaries. But now that same underlying DevOps skill set is being absorbed into roles with clearer focus. Platform engineers own Kubernetes, tooling, and developer experience. Cloud engineers handle scaling, infrastructure as code, and cost optimization. SREs drive uptime, monitoring, and production health. And yes, even software engineers are expected to monitor, deploy, and pipeline their own code. In 2024, the most in-demand role for Kubernetes was software engineer, not DevOps engineer. So the title may be fading, but the skills behind DevOps are actually more in demand than ever. They've just moved. DevOps isn't dead, it's dissolving into other roles. And this is actually a good thing. This is what DevOps is all about. DevOps isn't a job title, it's a philosophy. It's a set of principles that helps companies to deploy software faster and more efficiently. But there is more, and this is what will make the difference between those who get jobs and those who won't. Here's what most people miss. Knowing the tools isn't enough anymore nowadays. Using them and proving that you can is what counts now. Let me explain why. Demand for certificates is dropping fast. Companies are caring less and less about what badges you've collected and more about whether you've actually built something that works. Certificates are becoming less reliable as a badge of honor in the tech market. And as a not myself, I can understand why. Not all certifications are the same. Some actually require you to troubleshoot in environments, while others are a multiple choice questionnaire you can just memorize. In other words, they can be faked and don't actually mean you can do the work. The same goes for having watched a tutorial or having clicked through a Udemy course with a certificate. Nobody really cares about that. But real world projects and builds you can show off? Absolute game changer. Why? Because you can't fake production experience. Companies don't want buzzwords or certificates. They want engineers who can ship in production. That means build the infra, deploy the app, monitor it, break it, fix it and repeat. The new standard isn't built on theory, it's hands-on execution. If you haven't built a working system outside a tutorial, you're already falling behind. Certificates still have their place and you should still get them, especially if you're a junior. The point is that you need to build something alongside of them. But here's what's happening across the industry. Platform and SRE roles are surging. The core stack, Kubernetes, Terraform, Python, CICD, is still essential and new tools like Backstage and cross-plane are rising in demand. But it goes even further. Data engineers are now also expected to build production-grade pipelines, use infrastructure as code to manage their infra, and monitor workflows just like traditional engineers. Even analytics engineers are writing Python, automating pipelines, and working with cloud-native tooling. These roles might not say DevOps, but they require the exact mindset and tool chain. This is what I mean with DevOps dissolving into other roles. What used to be optional is now expected. Here's the good news. If you understand this shift and start building the right way, you'll be 10 steps ahead of everyone still chasing the old model of wasting time. If you can automate workflows, write clean infrastructure as code, deploy securely, monitor effectively, and explain your decisions with confidence, you're no longer a DevOps engineer, you're a complete 
lead engineer. If you're serious about building hands-on production-grade skills, that's what we do inside Cubecraft. It's a private community for engineers who don't just want to learn, but they want to actually build what companies are hiring for. You will get real-world labs, projects you can build from end to end that you can show off, mentorship from engineers doing this in the field right now, including me, career support, referrals, and job opportunities shared almost daily. If you want to stop watching and start building, the link is in the description. Come join us inside Cubecraft and let me know in the comments. Are you seeing this shift in your industry job? Are DevOps titles fading where you work? If this video helped you see things differently, hit subscribe because in my next video, I will show another hidden game changer you can start today that very few are doing and it's a massive opportunity. I'll see you there.